big crowds out there. Yeah, great crowds. Even, you know, uh, past 10 o'clock at night, it's just absolutely lovely out here. Um, and the fair is a huge draw, right? It is a part of our culture, and it's a really play, tough place to get into. There are only four new food vending booths this year, and 470 people are on the wait list. So if you're a non-foodie, it's easier to get in. They let in about 75 this year, but there are 800 that would like to. So how do you actually get a booth out here at the State Fair? Good question. As the fair folks told Heather Brown today, the stars have to be aligned. 7.30, we started with our first sale. Mm -hmm. I got my picture with the $5 bill. Oh. Tipsy Pies broke the record for the shortest time on the State Fair food booth wait list. You know, I think it's about six weeks. Quesadilla Junction set a different milestone. So, probably about 20 years we waited to get in. How long did you think you'd have to wait? Five years, because that's kind of <laughs> what everybody says. What was it that finally pushed you over the edge? Uh, I bought this. Uh, it's a showpiece, you know. I mean, it's a beautiful trailer. I mean, what's the secret to getting a booth at the fair? Dennis Larson is the fair's licensed administration manager. A lot, an old one was grandpa had to have one or dad had to have one or you're never going to get one. No, that's really not true at all. First thing is space. Someone has to leave before someone new comes in. And Dennis doesn't want to put, say, deep fried ice cream next to ice cream on a stick. I did not submit on a stick. <laughs> I knew better because it's very uh, labor intensive. There you go. So. That's how you get in. Once we decide what genre of food we want in there, then I go to the registration file and kind of create a short list of maybe the top 10 people who we think should fill that. The food committee in my department looks at it and decide who would be the best fit for that space. Pies worked in this spot because they don't require cooking or grease. So how do you choose the right fit? Based more so on experience and ability than any other thing. Did you practice at county fairs? Oh yeah, we've been doing this since 1985. A lot of people have tried a lot of good stuff on their deck for the weekend and everybody says I should be at the fair. But have you ever served 1.8 million people? You know, that's really what it comes down to. Now, when it comes to political and media booths, the fair says they work really hard to try to get all of them in there. And the interesting thing is once you're in and if you follow the rules, chances are you're not going to get kicked out.